I feel like this is best explained in video format. Because I took me a while to figure it out myself. The two are one. That is a Mazda counterweight, a Porsche flywheel, and like I said the two are one now. The pilot bearing for the Porsche is inside the flywheel, so I can align that with the adapter that I made and saw in the, the posts earlier. Ugh. Just wanted to stick with it. There's enough recessed area inside there for the giant flywheel nut. It's just holes. That makes to this. This interfaces with this. This is hub centric. This is hub centric. The pilot bearing is centered to the E shaft, or centered to this, which is centered to this, which is centered to the E shaft. So everything is center lined with the E shaft and the input bearing, or the input shaft on the transmission. In theory, it should be all straight, and I can take the transmission have this attached to the engine and then all I have to worry about is thrust between the engine and transmission being that this is a hydraulic clutch I've got some leeway as far as how far away the thrust can be so that's the update to the car that's why it's taking so long might post some little videos to show how the uh, chassis looks but Take that with a grain of salt because it's still under under construction. But yeah, this is a major accomplishment. Now all I have to do is figure out how to get a starter motor to interact with this ring gear, um, which is a challenge in and of itself. But that's the update for the uh, RX 986.